Hello everybody, Otaku Soup here with Anime Slash Games, and today, oh sorry, I thought the music changed. <laughs> today we're going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, as you can see, Monica is strangely absent after our, our uh, escapades last episode. Also, my saves are gone. So, I guess we'll see what the fuck's going on. And here we go again. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends, friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we've picked up that habit once again. So she's not depressed anymore, because she's not oversleeping. Eh? For what? I am! Oh, you've been doing that for a while now. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. A club? I told you already, I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Oh. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. <laughs> Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl, but I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things, so that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Haha. <laughs> so things are like a lot different. Well, I just... Eh? I glance around the room. Hi, girl, too. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. <laughs> I didn't have to be convinced at all this time. That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. 
Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. She seems mostly the same, right? I also feel bad about calling out uh, Yuri on her crazy with the whole finding out that it wasn't her fault thing. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. They are! Wow, these look amazing. Man, hopefully things aren't psychotic at your house anymore. <laughs> Yay! Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a, a whole tea set in, in the classroom? I guess. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly pricks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps but she keeps quiet. Well, that can change. <laughs> what am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway what, about, anyway, what about you, Yuri? Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Those are good books. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Alright. Manga? Oh, you aren't, like, afraid to tell me this time. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Hmm. Hmm. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Oh yeah, you're probably a much better leader than Monica. Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Dude, don't be an asshole. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. Oh, wow, you're so much nicer without Monica here. So cute. 
I mean, I mean, I mean, sh sh sire, sire, shut up. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around Sayori. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. Everything was gonna be nice. No, 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 no. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. <sighs> the ink flows down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? <laughs> Oh, I guess I got one of the endings. When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. When I can't even read my own feelings, what good are words when a smile says it all? And if this world won't write me an ending, what will it take? For me to have it all ah. Everyone, I'm gonna edit that I don't want you guys to see anything that you weren't supposed to see yet I'm actually not gonna watch that either <laughs> Yeah, I think they're great because there are things that we haven't gotten yet. Is it wrong if I take your is it love if I set you free? The ink flows down into a dark puddle. How can I write love into reality? If I can't hear the sound of your 
of course this. Hey, I'm in the credits! Yay! Don't remove everything. That was freaking awesome. But I know there's more to this. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Oh. It crashed my game. What the hell? Oh, it just goes here. Oh. Huh. Well. Guess I need to reinstall the game, huh? Um. Well. Hmm. Weird. What do I even do about that? Uh. But look, they're back. Huh. Well, so I'm going to try to figure out how to get the different endings, and I will, I'll do, uh, I'll do a video trying to do that. But, until then, I'm going to talk to Sue, and I'll see you next time.